everybody! Welcome to Lessons on 48th Lane. We're so glad that you could join us today. Oh yeah, I need to do a little shout out to my fifth grade girls. They think I'm taping in the Family Life Center, but this is really our house. See, we have a fan up here, and our living room is go. out here, and it really is our house. So, not the Family Life Center. Yeah, because they go, I'm pretty sure you're not taping at your house. We really are taping at our house. So, so who do you yeah. see up here, Mrs. Shanks? Ooh, do you, does everybody see this up here? It's pretty cool. It is the Last Supper. And we have the disciples around the table and Jesus at the head of the table. Yeah, because here's the story. Um, we're doing Holy Week, and we're now on Thursday of Holy Week. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times in the church life, we call it Monday Thursday, all right? so You mean Monday Thursday? Not Monday oh, Thursday. Oh, not Monday. Monday. Oh, got Jesus it. Jesus' commandment. What was his new commandment? We're not even... It's that you love one there. another. That you love one another. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, we're, we're, we're like, getting behind. Yeah. We got to do the song. I know. And I'm going to try to sing it right because the first grader called me out last week for getting the words oh, backwards. Oh, no. Get it right this All time. All right. It's Thursday night. Boy, you choose when you're at our house. So come on. from 48th Lane. We got to have lots of things happening tonight. We got some yeah. cool things to show you, some fun things to do. Mm -hmm. uh, are we going to start out with a game? We are. All right. You know what? Before I forget, I wanted to give a shout out to Miss Carol Cook because she put that together. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. So we got our, we got our Jesus, uh, our Last Supper yes. uh, thing. We've got uh, what else? Hey, you know what else we got to do a shout out because oh. I think she's on here is Michelle. Oh, Michelle my goodness. Olson. Her video if you, if you guys are on St. John Community, you need to check it out. Her her cat's names are what? Captain, Captain. America and and Jupiter? I think it's Jupiter. Maybe. Oh, she'll tell me if I got yes. it wrong. But they did the thing from last week when we said to go all around your house mm -hmm. and find a word and pray around your house. And her cats helped her to make it a video. It was so good. It's a very cool video. Yes. yes. All right. So anyway, we're not really going to tell you totally what our theme is. We're going to see if you can figure it out by playing this and really... And it's not the Lord's Supper. No. So it's by playing this really fun game. All right? Well, we think All right. And in class, when you see this, we know you're not going to see it till next week, like Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Because they don't have... Well, the teachers have school, but yes. the kids don't have school tomorrow. We have school tomorrow. So our kids have a three-day weekend. Nice. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. All right. So, oh, we don't have a three-day weekend. You do not. No. All right. So let's go ahead with our little quiz today. It's true or false, and sometimes it's just asking questions. All right? And you'll soon see what our theme is all about today. It does have a little bit to do with the Last Supper, but yeah. All right. So the first question for today is how many bones... Bones, B-O-N-E-S. Do you know who I saw on here? I saw Miss Corey West, who is a physician's assistant. Oh, so man. she would probably know this. Okay. How many bones do you have in your two feet? Do you know the answer? Well, how many bones are there in a whole body? Oh, I threw that. Oh, 206. 206 in the whole body. Just right off so the top of my head. Yeah, you, you are the the, ana the anatomy queen. All right. So if there's 206, how many do you think are in a foot? Or the oh. two feet together? Yes, two feet together. All right. If you've got ten. an answer. I see 10. Oh, okay. Bella says 10. If Miss West is on here, Miss Corey West is on here, she's gone, no, 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 no. 20? Uh, uh, <laughs> This is kind of interesting. It is. It's so 
interesting. All right, should we go ahead and give the answer? Yeah. All right, Bella, since you actually watched this, you'll have a chance, right? All right, All right. so what we have is 26 in each foot. So 26 plus 26 is? 52, 52 oh. bones. So man, that's a lot of bones in your feet compared to the rest of your body. Yes. All right, what's the next question? This is true or false. True or false. Okay. The toe with the least amount of bones is your big toe. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight mm -hmm. out of all the toes. Yes. The toe with the least amount is the big toe. Right. And you're saying true or false. Yes. What do you think out there? Do you think T it's true L. or false? Man, you can even be a lazy typer. All you have to do is put a T or an F. F. All right, so we got anybody responding? Because I still see numbers up there. I don't see any any guesses. True or false? True T or false? Or true uh, or false? True or false? Uh, Maybe your see. thing's not spinning around. Uh, wait a minute, something just came on. What do you think, Bella? <laughs> <laughs> what? She, Michelle just asked, what do you think? Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. I'll say true, false. Well, guess what? It's actually... True. Yes, it is. It only... It's weird. The yeah. thumb, I mean, the um, big toe only has two bones, and all your other toes, even that little pinky toe, that little bitty toe, has three bones in it. Crazy. Isn't that nuts? All right. Which grows faster, your fingernails or your toenails? Oh, that's got to be a straightforward answer. Which grows faster? Now, if you think about this, surely you'll get this one. Which grows faster, your fingernails or your toenails? Come on now. In the classrooms, guys, what do you think? Teachers, you can ask the question, how many say fingernails? How many say toenails? All right, does somebody say? Uh, we're having um, trouble seeing that far. We are, I need glasses, more <laughs> glasses, more power in my glasses. All right. Actually, it is toenails grow slower. I thought the qu what question was faster. Oh, we, which way did you do it? Oh, I don't know which way I did. I thought I said, oh All right. no, slowly. Here's what? the thing, whichever it is, grow fingernails grow faster, toenails grow slower. Yes. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? I know. All right. All right, the next one, true or false? True or false? Toe wrestling is a competitive sport. Okay, not just with your sibling. No. There is actually a group who do toe wrestling. True or false? Is that? Guess what? The answer is true. True, true, true. T. I know, that's so crazy. I can't yeah. imagine that. All right, so here's your next question. So since it is a competitive sport, toe wrestling, Jessica Cox is a champion. A female champion. Toe wrestler. Toe. True or false? True or false? True or na, 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 na. The answer is false. false. She, what is she? She is actually, she became the first pilot, this is so interesting, to fly a plane using only her feet. Okay, because she didn't, I'm assuming that means she was yeah. born without arms or yeah. lost her arms. Yeah, or I something. don't know, I didn't read anything. about it. But she used only it. her feet to fly a plane. And it is so cool to find out that, I mean, other people have successfully driven motorcycles. Absolutely. Shooting um, archery. Yeah. And a lot more things. Yeah. Painting. Yeah. A lot of different things. All right. It's How many so, more we got? We got two more. Oh, this one's gross. This one's gross. T or F. True or false. True or false. The longest toenail. The world record. Are only four inches long. The longest toenails recorded are four inches long. I mean, four inches about that long. Oh, I can't even. Can you imagine having no. your toenails that long? No. Ugh. All right. I say true or false. One, two, three, and it is actually false. Because you know, the real answer is six inches. Six inches long. So, I can't even imagine. I can't that. imagine oh, that. That's so gross. And I bet they weren't toe wrestlers. 
Because if they were right, people would be bleeding. They'd That's be so bleeding. Funny. All right, we got one more. Last question, true or false? There is such a thing as foot volleyball. Foot volleyball. Like with a regular volleyball? Yeah, with a net and everything. A net and yeah. everything. Okay. Not me. Not a Not net. Not a net. <laughs> with a net. Yes. And everything. Okay. True or false? And the answer is true. true. There is. It's in that? Southeast Asia yeah. somewhere, wasn't you it? You can't play with your hands, but you hit it with your feet yeah. or your head. Okay. But there you can't use your hands. You cannot use your hands. All right. So here's the thing, guys. Have you figured out what our theme is around mm -hmm. today? Have you figured out what it's all about? I hope so. Let me see. Oh, they had it false. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait for all it. All right, so what's the theme tonight? What do you guys think? How about if I put these on? All right, in classes, figure it out. How about if I put these on? All right. Not about Our socks. theme is feet. Feet. All because feet. on Monday, Thursday, what that's happened? There's a story about feet, and that's what we're going to tell. And we're going to use these guys to help tell. So cute. We want to give a big shout out to um, Mrs. Shirley Webb for creating and designing our puppets, right? Yep. They're super she came cool. In. Super, super cool. All right, so we got our, our puppets. Wait a minute, I gotta move this up. Okay. Move gotta move it, it closer because we want to see the action. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see what this looks like. Is this doing good? Oh, yeah. Oh, I knocked, knocked over Jesus. I, sorry. Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> Didn't mean to knock you over. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, pray for me because I have this thing. Oh, I gotta get. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta move the thing over. Okay. I gotta move it over. All right. It's hard to do this with these sock puppets on. I gotta move it over though. Okay, I think that's gonna be better so I'm more in the right spot, okay? Yeah, cause then I can be right in here. Okay. All right, here All right wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta get in position. All right. Might take a little while. All right, we're gonna do this. All right, this is a story. This is our, our puppet story for the night and I gotta see if I can do this with a sock puppet on my hand. Oh man, that's not working. Okay, that's not good. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. You can do it. Okay, wait a minute. Oh man. Almost? I'm almost. Okay. Welcome to the lunchroom. It looks like the lunchroom at any school. It's a typical day and two friends are talking about typical things. Oh Lizzie, I love your hair. I wish mine was blonde like yours. Melody, are you kidding me? I love your hair. It's gorgeous. Oh, not as beautiful as yours. No, you're the beautiful one. Just then, a classmate happens by, looking for a place to sit and eat lunch and maybe make a friend. Hi, I'm Freddie. Can I sit here? Stinky, stinky, stinky. go, go away. away. Not, not our table, table. Not, not today. Oh, I just thought... The girls didn't give him a chance to finish. Stinky, stinky, go away. Not our table, not today. Freddie sadly walked away. Now it's the next day and we're back in the lunchroom. Melody and Lizzie are back at their table. Oh, Lizzie, I love your eyes. I wish mine were pink like yours. Melody, are you kidding me? I love your purple eyes. They're gorgeous. Oh, not as beautiful as yours. No, you're the beautiful one. And here comes Freddy once again. Hi, it's Freddy. Can I sit at your table? Stinky, stinky, go away. Not our table, not today. Oh, but I just thought I could sit down at the far. But the girls were too fast. Stinky, stinky, go, go away. away. Not, not our table, not today. And Freddie walked away sadly. But now, it's the very next day, and we're back in the lunchroom once again. And guess who is at their table talking? Oh, Lizzie, I love that necklace. I wish I had one just like yours. Melody, are you kidding me? I love your feather hair clip. It's 
gorgeous. Not as beautiful as yours. No, you're the beautiful one. Here comes Freddy a third time. Hi, it's Freddy again. Can I sit here today? Stinky, stinky, stinky. Go, go away. away. Not, not our table, table. not today. Oh, but couldn't I just? Before Freddy could speak those final words, they said once again, Stinky, stinky, go, go away. away. Not our table, not today. Girls, I really think you should let Freddy finish his words. He has an interesting story to tell. Who's Freddy? I am. Oh, oh you mean Stinky Feet. I mean Freddy. Go ahead. Did you ever hear the story of Jesus and the Stinky Feet? No. no. Tell us. You see, Jesus and his disciples got together for a last supper. In those days, they couldn't take showers every day, and they didn't have washing machines, and they all wore sandals on dirty roads. And when they ate, they didn't have tables and chairs, so they stretched out on the floor with cushions. But that meant you'd be really, really close to someone else's feet. So it was really important that they would wash their feet before supper. But that night, none of them did. And you know what that means. They, they all had stinky feet. Exactly. What, what did, did they do? Well, Jesus got up and took a bowl with water in it and a towel, and he started to wash their feet. He, he did. did. Oh, yes, he did. That's, That's gross. gross. Well, stinky feet are kind of gross. But Jesus' love is it. He loves us completely, stinky feet and all. In fact, he told all his disciples to love one another and serve one another. But he's Jesus. Exactly. And if Jesus can serve everyone and love everyone, well, what does that mean for us? Oh. And here, in this very ordinary lunchroom, these two girls learned something about serving and something about loving others that day. And cut! Wow. Wasn't that so fun? Welcome to the lunchroom. Uh, looks that was so great. Uh, can you get up? No, I can't. Can you, talking about, can can you, you stop it? Things. Yeah. All right, here we go. I wish mine was blonde like yours. There we go. All right. Now we got to scoot that back I gotta a scoot little that bit. Back. And then we're just going to talk about the theme a little bit more and what you heard in the puppet skit today. All right. So, if you remember, they didn't want to hang out with Freddy. Why? Well, they were all cleaned up and yeah. all pretty. And, and I don't know if you could tell, but Freddy, he just wasn't as new and shiny. He was kind of looked dirty. like a little dirty. And, and so they just started calling him Stinky Feet. And he told them all about, and then ended up on Monday, Thursday, mm -hmm. when Jesus came and he washed the disciples' feet. And that really was something that shocked them and surprised them. Why? Well, it shocked them and surprised them because if you remember in Bible times, <laughs> they traveled a lot on dirty and dusty roads and they wore sandals a lot of the times. So their feet got really dirty yeah. and they really didn't think that Jesus really should be the one to wash their feet. Right. Usually that was a servant, somebody low. And, and Jesus said, no, 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 no. If you want to follow me, you learn how to serve others mm -hmm. and you learn how to. And that's why you call it Monday, which means commandment. He said, a new commandment I give you to love one another. Hey. I'm going to say it again, and I want you in your classroom or in your house right now. He says, I give you a new commandment that you are to love one another. Stinky feet and all. Mm -hmm. Guess what? When it comes to sin, we all got stinky feet. We, do. we all got it. I mean, nobody doesn't, you know, we all got stinky feet, but God loves us. And he washes us clean, mm -hmm. and he makes us his, and, and he forgives us. And that's the awesome part of Jesus, right? Yeah. All right. And so I just wanted to tell you, the classes and everybody out there, is that our challenge for you this week is to serve somebody in love. 
And you can do it all week long or just one, but whatever it is, and share it with your class, share it with your teacher, share it with us here on Lessons at 48th William, right? Yeah. It'd be so great. Yeah. And should they write a letter this week? They, yeah, they should write a letter, and this time they should pick up their grandparents. You should write a little bit, a letter, and tell them all about Jesus' love for us. All right. That would be so cool. And to remind them, because grandparents need to hear this too, that Jesus loves them too. Absolutely. Right? Okay. And if you don't have grandparents like us, mm -hmm. find somebody else to write to. Yeah. All right? Maybe somebody that serves you. Or an older person that might be feeling down a little bit. be a great idea. All right. So we're going to do another song. We haven't done this one in a long time. This guy has emotions. I thought, man, this is all about love one another. His banner over me is love. I'm feasting as banquet and table. His banner over me is love. I'm feasting as banquet and table. His banner over me is love. I'm feasting as his banquet and table. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Can you believe that? There's a, all, two of the classrooms, they're not singing along. I know. It's like we've done this song before. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. You've got... All right. So it's, I'm feasting at his banqueting table. His, his banner, banner over me is love. All right. You can do this. All right. Let's start again. I'm feasting at his banqueting table. Oh, that would work. You know what? He said those words on Monday, Thursday, too. Oh, wow. Was, he That's said a pretty, lot of, oh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah. Jesus is the vine and the other branches. Banner of me is love. Jesus is the vine and the other branches. Banner of me is love. Jesus is the vine and the other branches. say I'm the good shepherd on that. That was a different time. But you know what? It's my favorite I know one. it is. Okay. So, Jesus is the shepherd and we are the sheep. And his banner over me is love. <laughs> Jesus is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. <laughs> Jesus is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. <laughs> his banner over me is love. And you know what? He was getting ready to go to the cross. Yeah. So we need to do the one way to peace. Show the motions. One, one way, way to, to peace, peace through the power, power of the cross. cross. Or like this. Ah, let's do it for this this, this time. Way? Two handed. Okay. All right. All right. Here you go. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. You know we're gonna speed it up now. Here we go. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. Go, oh, good job. Right. You got into it finally. All right. All right. So we know what our assignment is for next week or this week, whenever we want to. Serving someone in love or multitudes of people. And, right? they, and can tell your teacher or tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, we'd say love to something hear about that you did to serve and somebody else. Write a letter to your grandparents reminding them about how much you love them and how much Jesus loves them. That would be good or too. Write a letter to an older person or somebody who would really need. A Just big a, lift yeah, like that. That would be awesome. All right, you want to pray? Okay. Why don't you pray tonight? All right, here we go. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For giving us that command. For giving us that command. To love one another. To love one another. And thank you, Jesus. And thank you, That Jesus. you are such a great example. For you are such a great example. For us. For us. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. So, that's it for tonight. We did good. This was tonight's lesson from 
48th, 48th lane. lane. And yes, this is where we are this on 48th our home. lane. So we will see you next week. If we're on Monday, Thursday, you might be able to figure out what next week's lesson is going to be about. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll see you then. All see right. See Good later. night, everybody. Give me one of the puppets so I can say goodbye. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, I got to oh. put him on. All I got right. stinky feet here. Stinky feet. Wow. Freddy. Freddy. Freddy Good says. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. All right.